guys, Eric and Dan here at ToolsInAction.com. Today we're going over the John Deere Zero Turn. <coughs> we did a, you may see we've got another video up where we've actually talked about some of the specs and went more into it with the dealer. Yep, about buying a uh, John Deere from the dealer. Now we've yep. had some time with it. So what model, what model is this? The Z235, it's their entry level zero turn. It's a 42 inch deck mated to a 20 horsepower John Deere engine. I'm pretty sure Briggs makes this for them. I'm not positive, but I'm almost positive because they used to just uh, make it for them. But it's a great starting unit. Uh, you know, this is like I said, this is entry level and the deck's quite small on it. So, uh, you know, but the price is right. It's like $2,300, $2,400. So, um, it's an American icon. John Deere definitely does build quality, and we've seen it here. Uh, you know, there's a couple things I don't like about the mower, and there's a lot that I do like about the mower. Um, I don't like that there's no fuel gauge. You don't like that there's not a fuel gauge? Okay. Are you trying to correct my grammar? Go ahead. Eric. I do not like that there's not a fuel gauge. You'll be out in the middle of the field, and it'll just die on you. Oh, you know, you need gas. Uh, and I... Uh, yeah, that would be nice if there was a fuel yeah, gauge. Yeah, or just a see-through fuel gauge of some sort <clears throat> or something like that. That would be a little better. Um, and I really don't like the 42-inch deck. I think it takes away from the capabilities of a zero turn because the, the rear tires are almost the exact length of the deck. So when you need to get in real tight and you are starting to zoom around, you have a problem because your deck will clear, but the rear tire will not. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah, good point. So, yeah, so good that's point. kind of, uh, those, those are really the only two things that I didn't like about that, this mower. And it's a tad smaller than most mowers, but it's got a lower CG, so I did feel more comfortable on inclines than I would any other zero turn. Um, and the control of it is great, the build quality of it is great. Uh, the motor ran perfect. We put 10 hours on it right now, is what we got on this bad boy. And, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a quality mower. It's just, I think that, you know, if I was. Uh, I'd reconsider maybe to get a bigger deck mower and one that had a uh, see-through gauge on it. Yeah, Which I'm sure they point. have on their next Z-turns yeah. or whatever. Um, but the controls, I mean, these controls, they almost feel like airplane-like. Yeah, like I mean, they are, Yeah, driving. they are smooth. I love the parking brake. <laughs> real easy to move up and down. Uh, you know, well, yeah. what do you think, Eric? Well, one thing I don't like is I'm about six foot. Uh, for me, it's a little small having my legs out over, you know, they're always kind of bent. It'd be nice if that platform was a little bit further out. Sit on it. Show me. everybody. <clears throat> Eric's tall, though. What do you think yeah, about it? I just wish it's like, you know, I could just bend my legs a little bit more and just relax a little bit. You right. Know? So that's, that's really the only thing I don't like. What I do like, though... It's quick, it molds really well, nice finish it rides product nice with it. Too. Rides very nice. I like the low profile so you can get under those tree branches. Like Dan was saying, it just it feels nice. We've used other zero turns and you can tell there's a little bit of play, other stuff like that. These are very precise, very smooth. Limited rattling. I mean all lawnmowers are gonna rattle just as the design of the mm -hmm. deck and the the uh, pulleys and all that. But uh, limited rattling on this, I mean it just felt tight, it felt precise. Definitely, yeah. uh, John Deere quality showed through on this product. Another thing I like is it's easy to do the maintenance on it. You can check the oil easy, change the oil filter, the fuel filter, air filter, everything very easy. Flip um, the seat up, your battery's right in there, your uh, fuses, everything is right there so you can just access it. The one thing that would be nice too is that they have a little covered compartment that you can you know, throw your phone or something. They do, right there. Right under here? Yeah. But I'm talking about something outside where you can access it. Throw your phone, throw your... Yeah, but I'm not a big fan of that because, you know, even though it does ride nice, you are bouncing around a lot. You know, you put your iPhone in and it thinks it would bounce around. Like, cup holders on mowers is a great idea, but I don't really ever use them because it just flies out or gets dirty. Oh, that's another thing I didn't like. Sorry. What's that? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, no fenders. When it gets uh, muddy, or you're going through a little bit of slap, it shoots up all over you. Now, does the next level up have the fenders and all that Not stuff? sure, Eric. Okay. Not sure, Eric. All right. I didn't research into that. Okay. But, like it's I said... It's a nice riding mower, yeah. though. I love the zero turn, you know. I've always used one of... What are those other ones just called? Tractors, I guess? Yeah, garden tractors, garden tractors. Lawn tractors. Those, I mean, you're, you know, if you got a you know, smaller tree diameter, you're always going back, we whip it and hit in a bigger spot. This is nice. Yeah, so for a smaller person, uh, you want to, you know, something that's got a you know, small acreage and you want something that's just going to last and be precise and you know you're going to buy it and not go, nothing's going to go wrong, 
is a great mower for you. Yeah, especially the the you know servicing it through the deer dealers. You know, a lot of them will just come out and they'll do the maintenance on it for you. Obviously, they're gonna charge you for it, but I'm just saying so that way you can keep it up to date, longevity of it. Right, and everything feels quality on this mower, you know. But if you want that gas gauge, if you don't want it, you know, if you're in muddy situations and you don't want to, you know, if you like Eric and you like to mow in a suit, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, mud flies up, you know, it's not the mower for you. Gas gauge situation and the turning radius. I mean, if you have a zero turn, you're obviously there to get speed production. You're there to get that thing done. So the wider the deck, the better, I think. Yeah, but, important. like I said, there's also specialty areas where to get in and out of foresty trees. But usually if there's that many trees, there's not that much grass. Yeah. But, I, mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't true. know. But if you have to get into tight areas, this tight through tight gates or something, this might fit. But, like I said, it does have the uh, handicap of those tires wanting mm -hmm. to hit after you go around it. Um, yeah. But other than that, great, you know, uh, we're going to have, it's 10 hours on it, so now we're going to send it out to get it serviced, and, uh, you know, definitely check it out, don't forget to check out John Deere. Yeah, you're not going to go wrong with the deer, man. No, you're not going to go wrong with the deer, and, you know, a, a lot of brands out there, you know, try to cheapen things and stuff like that, but this thing is all, it screams quality, everything about it screams quality, the way it's put together, we didn't have one issue with it, uh, other mowers we've tested, this hardly has any squeaks compared to those. Deck wash, we've got to talk about the deck yeah. wash. Uh, most of all mowers have deck wash now, though. Mm -hmm. uh, Plus the cover, too. Yeah, we did that. We'll show you the, I'll the link into that video right now where the dealer actually walked through it with us. And, uh, you know, pretty cool. So don't forget to check out toolsinaction.com. Another thing I forgot to say, you might have already said this, but it's been on other tractors where it's really, really bumpy. This doesn't seem as bumpy. I mean, it's still you still get the ride of a regular lawnmower. But compared to some other ones we were on, it seems like a little bit smoother ride. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I like these tires, you know, they're, bu they're bouncy tires. I, set, I tend to see, like, now you're seeing tractors and, and zero turns coming out with real low profile tires. I don't know that I want that. I want the little rims and more tire because that's more cushion. Yeah, I think know? it's like the difference between your truck and my truck. I got more of the low profile tires and I got a lot rougher ride. Right? Yeah. Well, so. your truck just sucks. <laughs> Dude, it's the same as yours, except better. Yeah, dot toolsinaction.com.